In this video I set up jet skis, which functions very similar to the motor boats. There is a handle for the wheel and IK is used. The nozzle also rotates at the bottom which is a bit hard to see. WASD can be used to move and steer with sound effects as well. The foam is also working. Jet skis can also drive in reverse, at a slower speed. This video will require a boat template actor which I showed how to make in the master boat video. I will put a link to that video in the description below. For the model I will use this one from Sketchfab by this user. You need to separate the parts which starts with the main body mesh. This one has a nozzle at the back bottom. Separate the handle as well and make sure it is pivoted where it should rotate. Finally there is an exhaust pipe for this one which goes next to the nozzle. I have already imported them in engine with the materials. Add a collision to the body mesh. Now add a player socket. Then add the nozzle socket. Next add the wheel socket. Finally I will add the exhaust socket. Open the exhaust mesh and add a socket where the water particle should spawn. Now open the handle or wheel mesh. Add sockets for the left and right hand IK positions. For the sound effect I already have a propeller spin one from the motor boat so we'll use that. Create a child class of the boat pawn actor for jet skis. Open it. Set the boat enter type to sitting jet ski first as a different idle animation is required where the legs are around the seat. I will also adjust the physics for setup values so it drives differently in terms of speed. Now I will set the meshes and update the other components. For the hull collision you can just clear the mesh as jet skis don't need hull masking. I will also add the nozzle and wheel setups in the default variable values. Finally use a temporary scene component to update the buoyancy pontoon positions. Now go to the construction script. Copy the shown code for a simple exhaust setup. Set the default value of it. Make sure the socket name is exactly how you added it in the body mesh with case sensitivity. Go to the event graph and make some space for the event begin play. Copy the code. This is to set up the foam interaction fluid simulation.
This spawns the jet ski move sound effect and sets the initial volume to zero since it should only be heard when moving. Next add a custom event called jet ski timer. Copy the code for it. I won't explain all of it since it is similar to what we already did for the master boat and motor boat actors. This rotates the exhaust if there is one vertically based on the move forward amount. This will spawn the water particle with a delay since we don't want it spawning every 0.01 seconds which is the timer length. Again make sure the socket is named exactly. For the particle I will use one from this free Niagara Footstep VFX pack, but you can use any you want. I will use this water heavy one. I need to modify it slightly so it drops down so I will duplicate it and change the add velocity components. Now it is dropping down. Set it as the system to spawn. This sets the sound effect volume from 0 to 4 based on the speed of the jet ski. You can change the outrange B value if you want the max volume of it to be quieter or louder. These are conditions to check if the timer should stop. Since interpolation is used, these values want immediately be set to zero so the timer will have enough time for the rotations and other values to reset properly. I will now comment the event.
Now add the IA move input event. Copy the code. Make sure you set the out range here to 1 if you duplicated the previous code. This code simply adds force and torque based on the input key amounts. The timer is also started. I will now add the jet ski to the level. Make sure to set the fluid sim default value. Also I found why the foam was only working sometimes but will explain it in a short. The buoyancy needs some adjustment. We will add the animation shortly. Everything else is working correctly such as the handle rotating and the water particle. There is a handle on the back center of the jet ski but I couldn't find what it does so it just stays static but you can add functionality to it if you want. You may need to play around with the values until it rides correctly for you. We will do the animation now. Open the animation blueprint and go to the boat locomotion idle state. Duplicate the default driving idle one and rename it for jet ski. Add it for the correct pose and make sure to set looping to true. We need to modify the animation so it looks more like a jet ski. I will do this by rotating the leg bones and pressing add key. If you have an animation set for jet skis already, you can just use that. If you are doing it manually it will require a lot of trial and error to get it to look perfect. It doesn't seem to work with IK so I turned it off briefly to test. I finished the animation off camera. Add the following code in the foot IK section so it disables it if on jet ski. That is all for this video. I'm not showing any other examples on how to use the jet ski actor template as I couldn't find any other jet ski models that were different enough that an explanation was needed. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. You can purchase this final result from Gumroad using the link in the description if you want. It is an add-on to the motor boat pack since they are similar so you can purchase it along with that one if you want. The project files also come with the realistic island example, including a night scene. The swimming and oxygen system is also included. Also each boat type will be sold separately, but if you purchase any one of them, you will be given a 75% off discount code to be used for the other boats. Thanks for watching.